to be here because uh, I think uh, Ritu Dillon and me and my family go back a long way uh, and she's a very talented, bright mind which I think is now coming out again into the open and I think that it's been a long time where this talent has been brewing and brewing so I'm proud of her and I think it's going to be a, a very successful show. Thank you and all the best my darling, Thanks. you deserve it. Nisha has always been a very warm, uh, you know, spirited, always helping out and making sure that people get together, right, like-minded people. I think her uh, magnanimous and her behavior is so wonderful that she, you know, ex just is a, you know, Who's ball of love? energy. So Thank I'm happy so to much. be here and I, I always would love to be in connection with and her. And I want to say about Zareen Khan that she's a woman I really admire and respect. I'm, I've done this show because of Zareen Khan. And there's something very special about this lady who nurtures, protects, and gives impetus to all artists, which is, which is the re one of the reasons, apart from Suzanne's creativity, that all her daughters are shining and doing so brilliantly in the Indian firmament. And uh, kudos to Zareen that she actually pushed Ritu to do this show. And when I curated it, I couldn't help thinking that it was Zareen who actually uh, you know, uh, took this talented and brilliant artist, when you see the body of works, you'll realize what I'm saying, took this artist and insisted that a reticent and shy artist come out and present her art to the world of Bombay. Congratulations, Ritu. Thank yes. You. Congratulations. And congratulations, Zareen Khan, yes. for bringing us all together, her daughters, yes. her artists, me, and making, you know, having such a warm and giving and generous heart. So we love you, Zareen. <laughs> what can I say with all these lovely compliments? First, let me talk about the artist. She's a friend of mine from, I think, eons. I won't say how many years because then it'll be too bad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's a wonderful friend, a wonderful artist. And who else could have brought all this to her uh, with the special lady called Nisha Jamwal, who is itself, the amount of praises she's given me, I'm, I do not know. I'm very happy and thank you very much for it. But she's also the same. She uh, promotes artists and she promotes people. She's got a good heart. And I'm so happy that she's involved in prote uh, protecting and uh, proving that my friend is really a very good artist. So I wish her all the best. And I hope that it's a total sellout. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nisha Jambal. I've always been very fond of art. I won't say I'm a collector. I'd rather say I'm a lover of art. Um, since forever, I've painted before I could write. I react to color. I react to spaces. As you already know, I'm an architect. And when I saw the collection, The Thinking Man, I was riveted, I was moved. It's a poignant collection. It's by an artist who went through a bit of a, should I say a down phase and came out triumphant with a collection of works. And what she went through is so beautifully depicted in these works. I see a body of works of thoughtful, thinking, um, nearly depressed, men who are breaking the shackles, the chains of anxiety and coming out enlightened and with a new, with a new life, with a new existence. So I automatically insisted that I should allow, I mean, she should do a show and I agreed to present and curate this show. To put a show together is never a very quick thing. It's a, it's a long process. It's a process of, um, curating each and every piece of understanding the journey of the artist sometimes especially for this collection to collect 40 to 50 pieces out of three you know two three hundred pieces is not easy but curating is part of my work presenting and being an art patron and that's how i've come across this i mean i've created this collection Thanks, Eddie. The very, very beautiful Suzanne. Few words. Yes. Who's timelessly very, beautiful. Thank you. So sweet. <laughs> and thank creative. You. And one of our, my favorite designers in, in Bombay. Thank you, Nisha. That's very warm. When I buy another house, I'm going to give it to her to do it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> thank you. You can come when you have this as well. I know her And uh, I have to say that when I saw her first, 
आई कुड इमीजिएटली आइडेंटिफाई विथ इट बहुत सालों के बाद मैंने ये काम देखा है उसका और ये रितु की स्टाइल है और बहुत ही एक्चुअली इंटरेस्टिंग छाप है कि रितु कैन डू दिस काइंड ऑफ वर्क एंड इट्स अ वेरी अपीलिंग वर्क और उसमें थोड़ा डार्कनेस है थोड़ा दर्द है एंड देर इज़ अ लॉट ऑफ फीलिंग फ्राम नोइंग यू नो वॉट रितु इज़ एंड वॉट फॉर लाइफ हैज़ बिन और मैं बहुत ही खुश हूँ कि मैं आई आज और ये इतना अच्छा एग्जीबिशन मैंने देखा थैंक यू वैसे मुझे ये जो पेंटिंग है यहाँ पे जो मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा लगा क्योंकि उसमें थोड़ा कलर भी है थोड़ा अलग है दूसरे पेंटिंग से और वॉम है थोड़ा और फिगरेटिव है और थोड़ा लैंडस्केप भी है बैकग्राउंड में और काफ़ी पेपर वर्क्स भी बहुत ही अच्छे लगे मुझे वो तो मैं भी जानती हूँ कितना वक्त और कितना टाइम जाता है क्योंकि मैं भी पेंटिंग करती हूँ और पेंटिंग में जितना वक्त जाता है उतने थॉट्स बहुत जाते हैं उतने दिमाग में क्या चलता है वो इमोशंस और अपना यू नो वॉट एवर इज़ हैपनिंग इन आर लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसिस वो निकल आता है Yes, uh, I've been um, following Ritu Dilan's work for many years now. Uh, you know, as we uh, both are artists, I'm an artist too. So I've been uh, connected with her work and uh, her new series. I must say, is very contemplative. It's very personal, and uh, it's it's gone quite modern. It's quite contemporary, and I do like some of the works very much. Well, um, you know. Um, I, I like the fact that she's evolved in this show. Earlier, she used to speak through her figures, eyes. Um, you know that used to be the focal point in her work. But now she's moved and she's evolved and she's uh, possibly taken a risk. Uh, but the point is that she did it, and that's what I really uh, appreciate. And because I, I myself evolve, I like to evolve. Um, consciously and i hope unconsciously it happens um yeah so i i do like some of the works and yeah she it's uh, certain works are there's more mood in her work i think it's more for her than and less for the market well i'm here today because of nisha she's a very dear friend of mine and uh, she's very interested in art so if she's promoting somebody that person has to be very good and i must say that after seeing the paintings yes i do think It's a very interesting concept. The thinking man, as of today, very required. The thinking man. So true. <laughs> yeah. Thinking and uh, going inside is so rare. It's Absolutely. all about going outside, no? I think what I'm seeing is a very evolved perspective on different people, and uh, interesting. It's uh, it's just one theme. So I like the colors. I think uh, blue is my favorite. So <laughs> and it's interesting that the colors are predominantly monochromatics yes blues and whites and black so it that philosophic poignant uh, you know undertones are there which is very interesting I think it's a nice a very nice I think the artist went through a sabbatical and has come back with a bounce and she's Probably. come out with this set of works which actually talks about a dark period in her life where she lost her brother and this show is dedicated to her brother which makes it all the more poignant so i, I wasn't aware yeah. of that but yes i think anything that you do from the bottom of your heart which jo andar se jo cheez nikalti hai usme hamesha bahut meaning hota hai depth hota hai bahut sachai hoti hai so i think that uh, yeah that's why these paintings speak Uh, and one artist to another i think sonu uh, walia is one of the most beautiful artists of our country wouldn't you agree and from one artist to the other to uh, you know appreciate art i think she's not only beautiful from uh, you know from the outside but even her heart as a friend i know her and i think she's one of the most warm kind and gentle people that's so sweet of you to say so many nice things but That's what Nisha is. She's probably describing herself to you. So. Thank you. <laughs> well, this was my favorite painting. I love the colors. I love the distinctiveness of this artist. Okay, she has a really original voice. That is not only original but beautiful. And I love the colors on this painting, so I have bought it.
Mine is the same. We have a similar choice in art. I like the depth of the painting, and I like the way that it, you know, I got attracted to it. It talks to me, so I like it. You know, I have not bought a painting in 15 years. This, so that shows you I really like this one. Yeah. This artist is very good. We came in yeah. immediately, Richard said we a have really to buy a painting. original voice. Because we yeah. have a lot of art and he said we have to buy a painting here. No, and I, we looked around and we said I, this. I've been to hundreds of art shows and I've not bought a painting until this one. Uh, I think I'm very, very happy to be here and uh, Nisha has organized this event. I think she has done an exceptional job and Ritu's works are really beautiful and it's a, it's a perfect combination of Rita and Ritu Jalan's work. I collect a lot of art so I'm aware of how the painting should be and I think Ritu has great potential and I think she's going to great, do, going to do very, very well and I'm really happy to be here and see her work and I'm thankful to Nisha and Ritu Jalan for calling me here. I'm really happy. Okay? You know, look, Ritu has been an old friend of mine. Ritu has been a very old friend of mine and as far as I'm concerned, she had stopped painting for some time, you know, and I was really worried that, what, has she given up completely? But she's obviously come up with a completely new range compared to what she was doing earlier. Earlier, her art was fundamentally to do kind of figures and faces and stuff like that, but that she still got, if you ask me. But now, at least, she's gone into a completely different kind of a more modernized or more contemporary version of what she's doing. And, uh, and I'm really delighted that she's back. And I'm delighted that Nisha is hosting it for her.